Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? I am doing pretty good. I came on today because I got uh, something interesting to actually show you guys. Uh, my friend Jim Mullins from the Warmer Strat channel, he wanted me to do a tutorial on how I got my iMac to show the temperature on the toolbar on the very top of the screen. So that's what I'm going to do today is show you how to, if you have an iMac or any kind of Mac computer, today I am going to show you how to get that temperature setting on your iMac and how you can also control your fan speed with that, um, through the, this tutorial, through that program, I'm going to show you. So here we go. We're going to flip over to my screen, my, to my screen capture thing, and I'll show you how to um, get this application that shows you what temperature your iMac or your Mac computer is running at. Uh, this is only for Mac computers only. This is not for PCs. All right. So let's switch over to the. Um, to the screen capture video so I can show you how to get this um, cool thing that shows you how what your computer runs at what temperature your computer runs at YouTube uh, here is the screen capture of uh, what I'm gonna do today um, my allergies are bothering me so bear with me uh, yeah it's that time of the season, season where my allergies are bothering me. Alright. As I said at the beginning of the video, my friend Jim Mullins uh, from the Warmarth, Warmarth Strat channel. Uh, Warmarth Strat channel. Uh, he wanted me to do a tutorial on how to get the... Um, how to get the temperature of what your iMac or your Apple computer is running at. Alright, let's get started. Alright, it, it is not built in with your computer. Um, I'm running, I have the iMac G5. So, this is a not so new iMac. Alright, now let's go down to the internet. Alright, I had to download this off off the internet. So I went to uh, M I mean, SMC Fan Control. That's what the app is called. And I went into here. And, um... And I could uh, just minimize it for now. Yeah, let me bring it back up so you guys could get the website. This is the website right here. Um, or you could just go to Mac Update. I'll leave it up for a second so you guys can uh, see and get to it yourself. And I also put a link to the website in the in the description below. Tutorial on how how to activate it. This is my temporary download uh, folder right over here. So let's go into it. Right now, yeah, I got a lot of stuff in it. <laughs> All right, MC uh, SMC fan control. Double click that. You get all of this, but you want to double click on this to start it up. And as you see. Um, 
yep as you see it is um, right there for you now to uh, exit out of that you want to double click this go into preferences um, here's my CPU fan and all that stuff um, as you can see the one that they're running the fans are right now running at 8,800 Excuse my um, language, um, my allergies are making me nasally, so let's get back into it. Fan is running at 800 revolutions per minute. The HDD is running at 14,000 revolutions per minute. Then the CPU fan is running there like that too um, then I have have it set for Fahrenheit since I'm in the United States and the computer is running at 145 thousand degrees which I guess is normal for a um, computer uh, but as the temperature rises as you can see the fan compensates for it. But if you want to, um, to move, make the fan spin faster, you just do that and you hit save. I don't know if you can hear it, but my fan, I switch all three of my fans to full speed. And switch them to their automatic to their slowest speed. And as you watch right here, fans are winding down to their proper to their normal speeds, I guess. And I don't know if you can hear it in the audio, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it in the audio, but you can hear the fans actually winding down. If you can hear the fans winding down in the audio, let me know in the comment section below. Alright. Um, but one thing is, you, it does, this doesn't start up automatically when you turn on your computer go into preferences and um, you want to hit that once you hit that it will start up when you turn on your computer well Well, that's it for the tutorial. I hope all you guys enjoyed it. And I hope uh, it helped you out there, Molly. I hope um, it cleared things up for you. Um, and I hope you enjoy the, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as well. Even though my allergies are bothering me today. Um, I hope that you enjoy this new app. And I hope you enjoy uh, looking at uh, what your computer runs at. <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't like the temperature that your um, computer is running at, you could change the fan speeds manually. But when you turn that, when you have them at the minimum, uh, the fans automatically compensate for the temperature variations. Um, the colder it is in the room, um, yeah, the colder it is in the room, the less work the fans have to do. Um, 
right now, even though my computer or my iMac is running at 136 degrees Fahrenheit, um, fans are actually running a little slower than normal. Than what, because um, the iMac is not that hot. But before I had it going, before I had it, uh, the temperature at 145 degrees, and the, um, all three fans were spinning faster than normal. That's at its minimum setting. So it does compass, so even though you don't have the app right now, um, the fans do compensate for the heat variations. So as the temperature goes up, the fans spin faster. Um, but I don't know if you heard in the audio when I boosted the fan, all three of my fans all the way up. You can hear the fans actually going crazy. <laughs> um, but then close to the end of the video or the tutorial, I knock down the fans back down to their normal speed. They slowly wind down to their natural speed that the computer has it set at. Well, um, Molly, I hope it was helpful for you. If you decide to get this um, app, uh, do, do a tutorial video response to me. <laughs> um, I would like to hear what your fans, how how loud your fans spin. <laughs> um, if anyone else uh, wants to download it, it, you can download it. And I hope it's helpful for anyone else. Thank you, thank you to Molly for making me, or thank you to Molly for having me do this tutorial for him. If you guys want me to do any more tutorials, I'll be more than happy to. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye for now.